thank you very much uh, for organizers to, to give me a possibility to, to present some uh, some con content from different field of expertise you probably have. Uh, as you heard, I am IT uh, guy, but uh, I am IT guy from the background and oceanographer by chance because. 20 years ago I started my work for Institute of Oceanology and uh, the demand for IT technologies involved in oceanography is growing and growing and I shifted slightly to, to oceanography. Uh, first of all, I would, like you, I would like to explain you what the oceanography is and what are the problems uh, when you make oceanographic research and environmental research at all because uh, I expect that you are not oceanographers and this is a very rare occasion for me to, to, to tell something on the very basic level what the oceanography is. First problem is the extent of the object examined. Uh, as you can see, uh, the Spitsbergen, which is located here and this uh, an object of, of uh, examination uh, within the game project, uh, is only part of our work and uh, oceanographers have to deal with uh, very huge object as an uh, earth uh, ocean and uh, it covers uh, two or three parts of the earth so it's impossible to deal with this in the small group of researchers. Another problem is the complexity of oceanographic research. This is courtesy of uh, University of uh, California uh, picture, it's just to, to show you how many Methods are involved to examine a uh, water body and, and ocean itself. We are using uh, vessels for different purposes to, to tow something, to, to put equipment under the, the uh, sea uh, level. Uh, we are using equipment which is located on the bottom, just deployed on the bottom. Uh, different kinds of equipment. We are using autonomous uh, vehicles to collect data. We are using also remote sensing satellites, uh, also both for uh, collecting data and uh, giving uh, help to, to, to uh, get position uh, when we are trying to, to associate position and uh, time to, to, uh, to collected samples. And the game project. What is the problem? Uh, when we have environment and we have ecosystem, uh, the ecosystem is developing in time. Uh, there are very fresh ecosystems which are uh, characterized by uh, a small amount of organic matter uh, and uh, very weak links in trophic chain and we have mature ecosystems uh, which uh, are on, on the opposite side of the, of the uh, amount of, or, of organic matter. Uh, Arctic is a very fresh ecosystem because uh, 12,000 years ago ice sheet has been has removed from this place and ecosystem is growing, aging in this area. So this is a very interesting place for researchers to, to examine and uh, the project goal is to answer the question if uh, or find uh, answer for hypothesis uh, if Arctic marine ecosystem is growing uh, in the course of global warming. Arctic is the uh, place on the earth where global warming is going faster, fast, the, the fastest place on the on, uh, earth where global warming is increasing. So. We are using different methods. Uh, uh, we are doing research from the vessel, we are doing research from uh, land expeditions. We have to collect samples and analyze them in the laboratory. So we are using very different methods. We are collecting very different kinds of data, different uh, forms of data. And as I told you uh, at, at the beginning, we are not able to do uh, the project ourselves because uh, this, the game project is a project founded from national money, but we have to co cooperate with uh, other organizations, especially uh, Norway, because uh, they have collected uh, 
uh, most of samples uh, from the Spitsbergen, uh, we are using them from archives. But getting st step step back from the from the game project, uh, what are the problems observed by European Commission uh, in data accessibility? Uh, this information is from year 2009, but uh, still the problems are not solved in, in my feelings. Uh, this uh, uh, is quoted from the presentation of Jan, Jan Shepard, uh, member of uh, Digimara. And what are the problems? First of all, discover of data. Data collections are hidden. They are not uh, public, publicly available. Even information where they are located is not publicly available. Access to data uh, very often is blocked uh, for commercial use. Uh, some uh, of data are uh, released just for researchers. We are researchers, so it's easier for us to use the data, but still the cost of data accessibility is very high. Uh, cost of data, uh, especially in oceanography, is very high because cost of ship, cost of satellites, uh, observations are extremely high and it's impossible to, to find uh, budget to, to collect the data every time you are trying to examine something. The coherence of data. Uh, data is being collected by different organizations uh, for different purposes and it's very hard to, to, to organize one unique data set regarding all information uh, needed for uh, analysis. Quality of data very often is unknown. So someone has collected data, made data acquisition, but we do not know what were the conditions of, of, collect, of the process of collecting data, data acquisition, and we are not sure if we are able to use it or compare with the data we have collected just now. And quantity of data. There are some uh, regions we have plenty of data and there are some regions we do not have data, we do not have information we, we can refer to. Another problem is data policy. Uh, there is a strong bottom-up movement in oceanography to, to, to share data uh, between organizations because we feel that it, it is needed for us and uh, it is reflected in uh, UNESCO IOC Inter International Oceanographic Commission uh, policy that data should be available with no cost or just cost of, of preparation of, of uh, collection and the cost should be shared between users, all users, not charged every, way, ev every time user wants to uh, use the data. So, we are, uh, the data collected within the game project, we are trying to share as wide as possible and first of all we are uh, uploading data to our local uh, data and information management system we have developed at, at Institute of Oceanology and this data is publicly available, you can use it uh, if you want, of course it's not uh, very useful for everybody to, to, to get a collection of oceanographic data, but uh, some institutions want to uh, make some research and, and they are able to, to use the data. We are also uh, that uploading data to Imodnet. This is a service, operational service uh, uh, founded by European Commission and uh, all institutions which are involved in uh, earth observations and uh, environmental research uh, who possess the data, who are collecting data, especially monitoring data, are able to download them or upload them to, to Imodnet uh, portal. We are also sharing data through CDataNet, so you can find our data, uh, the, especially data coming from a game project uh, in CDataNet uh, service. And this service is uh, widely used by oceanographic community. And as well, we are uh, uploading our data to ISIS uh, data uh, center. Uh, ISIS is uh, international 
Council for the Exploration of Sea. Uh, it is oriented for uh, North Atlantic or Atlantic in, in general, but uh, not only, and a lot of countries are involved uh, and contribute to ISIS. Getting back to uh, uh, the game project and collection uploaded to GeoPortal developed by Esri. Uh, the license for data is open, so uh, the, this is another way we are trying to share, share our data. We are developing uh, Geo database, and uh, these data are available in uh, Esri GeoPortal. I will go quickly through these uh, screens, mock-up screens, or not only mock-up, uh, the, the screens uh, downloaded from, from Esri. Uh, data is available not only as a chart, uh, it's not very useful if you are trying to, to make some analysis and, and process data further, but you can see different kinds of data, but uh, you can download the, the real numbers and, and use them for further processing, further analysis, and cooperation, of course. This is an example that we are not only a provider of data for our research, we are also using data. This data, which is extremely needed for, for the purpose of, of the game project, uh, we, we take from uh, North Polar Institute, Norwegian Polar Institute, and uh, this is data showing the uh, extent of glaciers in the uh, Hornsund. So this was year uh, 1936. And if we go further, you can find that in 1992, glaciers has moved back. And 2008, the glacier is decreasing, area of glacier is decreasing. So this is a <laughs> proof that, that global warming make, a, a, make influence on, on Spitsbergen. The data from Norwegian Polar Institute is uh, disseminated by uh, Creative Commons license, using Creative Commons license and Norwegian uh, Institute, uh, Norwegian license for open uh, uh, use of data. And I would like to come to conclusions. First of all, I have already told you, uh, there is a strong demand for uh, sharing of data because environmental and in particular oceanographic uh, data research demand for open access. Uh, object of research is too extent, too dynamic, uh, too uh, variable that uh, could be uh, examined by a small group of researchers. So every uh, people have to contribute to, to, to uh, common uh, collection of data because uh, otherwise we are not able to make research, especially oceanographic research. Although we have a carrot that we can benefit from sharing data between us uh, and uh, we can make uh, scientific research, there is also a stick because in Horizon 2020 uh, there are some rules uh, which uh, make beneficiaries of, of the Horizon 2020 uh, force them to, to prepare data management plans and they have to expose how they are willing to share data. And in this context, interoperability of data and standardization is crucial for uh, sharing of uh, data and uh, data management processes because uh, we need to reduce cost of, of uh, data adoption if you want to make analysis. There is also a growing demand uh, to link environmental data with social data. Uh, Oceanography is developing in time and uh, 20 years ago uh, physical, physical oceanography was something else that uh, biological oceanography and, and marine chemistry. Uh, all groups of people were collecting data for their needs. Uh, it has changed, now everybody are trying to cooperate and, and uh, 
uh, physical oceanography is going to collect data from uh, different domains and, and aggregate the data, heterogeneous data, in, in one unique uh, data set collections. But also there is a strong demand for uh, social data and uh, looking to uh, object of research, the, the ocean, from different perspectives. Thank you very much. Oh, I will. Uh, <laughs> show you the beauty Hans Glacier in Honsut. One last one. Any questions? Uh, first of all, when you collect data, we have to make quality check, just to, to, to give the good product uh, and share good product with others. This quality check uh, takes, in some uh, occasion, a few time. Sometimes we need a lot of time to, 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 to make a quality check. Another problem in sharing data is, uh, we can say, conflict between conflict of interest between scientists and uh, the organization. Because organizations uh, want to share data with other organizations, but uh, particular scientists want to hold data uh, hidden for some reason. Maybe he wants to, to produce paper, and he is forced to produce paper. So the interest of, of, of researcher is to, to end the uh, evaluation of, he, of, of his work is how many papers he can produce. He can produce papers when he has uh, very unique data. If he publishes data on re or release data before he publishes the paper, uh, he is not able to, to, to earn uh, evaluation points for this. So this is a real problem how to deal with this. And there are some long-lasting processes and institutions do not will to, to share data or uh, be, be before they collect the whole data set for three years or five years lasting collection. So it's not easy to, to, to uh, cooperate and it's still a little bit tricky. Maybe solution could be the place to publish data sets and uh, scientists who are keen on, on collecting data, processing data, uh, could take benefit from this, uh, scientific benefit, uh, of course, I, I mean. Thank you. For other questions, I'm sorry, we copyrighted because we're running late. Really sorry.